Okay. Now, if you can help me and keep silence, so that will be good. So audio will Otherwise, audio will be disturbed there. And you can answer or raise your hand anytime. Um, I'll stand so that you can see me and I can also see you. So yesterday, we made GitHub repository. We created some files, we ignore file, GTP file, and then license file. We also created the source directory. We created hierarchy like uh, landing jobs or refined jobs and within which we write the jobs. We created the utility folders. We created one or two just dummy uh, blank programs and do that. So that's the project. Now today we will explore more. We also saw how to get it on the local, how to connect to the VS code, VS code set, code check-in, check-out, so here, uh, if you look at your diagram on your screen, it tells the project, the project I'm working, uh, so I have defined the git code, so uh, generally that is defined by either the archetype or lead, so it is project governance, like developer ko bolo ye code kar do, kar dega. Project governance is important. If you have code deleted in code, issue who is responsible? Is a developer? No. Developer is not. Because lack of experience and lack of expertise, he is not able to do that. So who is responsible? Either lead or architect, maybe solution architect, data architect, or enterprise architect. Those are people are the responsible. Those roles we call a technical leadership. Uh, and probably you might know the rules, but I rules project me rules. I'm not talking about the rules uh, in organization, I'm talking about the project. Anybody know? I'll explain. So, how the project governance works? Let's say our project is retail analytics, right? We say retail analytics project is 70. Are you able to hear me? Are you able to hear me? Listening back. Okay, good. So, what do we do? Project may rules. So, we have 70 people. Let's say we recruit 70 people for the project. So, who will govern? So, 70 people, it is split across some chunk, small, small. Uh, group so let's say we have 70, so we will make the group of 10 people in one group. So start group that group is called as a pod. Okay, pod POD. Okay, now what's for the combination of banate group? Ka, so generally, as there will be one scrum master. Okay, group may scrum master. Daya. I'll explain what's the role of Scrum Master and what a Scrum is. Uh, it's the Agile methodology. You probably not know, but it's good to understand what is the uh, Agile methodology of execution for the project. Ek, uh, up the Scrum Master rahega. Ek lead rahega, pod lead rahega. Right? He's a technical lead. Pod lead is a technical lead. Then you will have five four to five developers into it or maybe six developers art logo right six developers sorry uh scrum master pod lead and then we have uh let's say six developers so art logo guy and two people are the QA people the testing terrain right so we have this pod structure probably i will uh show on the diagram so how the pod structure is let's say one one for one for the developer let's say I have six and four we have to wait to test the first. Two people. So generally, this is a combination. And uh, why it is that we want to make sure that whatever this team develops is tested by this QA person uh, for this works, for the work is responsibility of what lead 
and then the scrum master would monitor the project. So I'll explain what the role of scrum master. This is non-technical person. So he is a project manager type of person. Uh, policy is very important. Policy was important to have a developer. A developer maybe you can have let's say Python. What are the different components are using their project? May let's say Python is used around. Python is used around. I'm using the Snowflake. I'm using AWS. I'm using like Azure. So one developer will not does not know all the things. All the things that are needed. This was I one developer is expert in Python, but other developer is not. Maybe in your part, you need to have generator reports. Report to banana for example. So for that, the developer will be combination based on the technology. So maybe a Python developer, AWS architect, or AWS cloud engineer type of thing. Those people will be developer. That combination may vary a little bit, but there can be around six. And I'm taking a number generally. If it does that, it forms a low return. So that's why this low time. And this number can vary, but there will be always a one scrum master in the And QA is sometimes optional, which can be shared like a lot of pods. So as a minute, start order. So I have seven pods. Okay. Now what about if pod to govern for the data? Pod to calm for the data. Pod to calm keep the children and make children. There will be institutional architect. Okay. Now, this lead can be a data architect. So, what can be the lead be a data architect? Okay. This can be a, your pod work is related to data. So, that can be a data architect. If this pod uh, development is related to reporting, so there can be an analysis. There can be a possibility of uh, requirement gathering. Done. So there can be a possibility of having a PA, business analysis. Important is business analysis. So combination, let's say I make it five developers and one more PA. So business uh, analyst requirement gather karega customer and then he will talk to he, he will translate that requirement into technical solution uh, and then basically assign the work to developer. So now that can, that person can be a data architect. Okay. Uh, now there can be a solution architect. Okay. And it can be about the form. Solution architect will be about the form. So a solution banana, so we will define all the solutions data to get yoga, connectivity care, yogi network. Security. He will be responsible for everything, including data security. Developers are not able to do anything. They 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 are not able to do anything. Because he does not have that much visibility. So, who will give that visibility? It's solution architect. Solution architect will make sure that he has a part of the solution. It's more secure, longer, deployable, different environment, maintainable. Support make the tire of the support people who must be so you will make sure the quality of, of the entire solution of the fully work. Testing phase for testing the fine carrega, how strategy will be fine carrega, what be my strategy, what is my uh plan, the previous group, will you cycle the entire work that all it will be defined by the solution. Now, third person comes with a PA, enterprise architect. And now this person is above the solution architect. So suppose our plan is six years. So and you are from six years. So CPS will own this in all for CPS, CPS or some other uh, cognizant JPK for This person can be from CPS, this person can be from CPS, but enterprise architect will be from the CPS. They own the their business. So, they cannot allow any outsider to make the change on to their enterprise. So policy center, they don't allow. Enterprise architect is the one who they say a free bank is bank. So bank name you have to when you develop a solution, it should be broader than it should be traceable. So 
these are not in the process. This is my owner of the market. So, I will tell you that 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 या फिर we don't have marketing, we don't have a shop at right location, so these are the problems. So अभी how to solve this problem? So then that director, director of sales support, he will raise the RSP. RSP यानी वो बोलेगा कि हम इस problem को कैसे लेंगे तो solution? Then he will बोलेगा कि we have the need for Walmart, we have the need for Reliant. And we can do it. So they will then demand for the data. Okay, I'll give pay you some money. You may purely this is my data. What you can do? What are the solutions you are planning to do? Then they will study. Yeah, our ये data है ये location में ये location में average कम कम है तो ये store का sale इसलिए कम है ये store का sale इसलिए कम है because you don't have the inventory proper inventory. जो माल ज़्यादा बेचा जाता है inventory you have stock is high. But जो देखा जाता है वो कम है, loss of sale पर someone कम और phone मांगता है तो जो आप उसको back model तो इन सब all problems they will figure out and they will say okay we solve this problem to technology solution so then I build a solution which will give me मेरे जो उसमे कौन से product कौन से price के हम इसलिए इसे buy I'm making up an example to go to remote location and you will see uh, Reliance, Remart, and let's say, subsequent to that command over the number So if that Remart store is remote, so for us, it is a bahar and where average is the, that area is there, the tomato will be 20 rupees kilo. But then Remart plus store, for it all part. So there will be 50 rupees. Why? Because there is a demand, there are people who can pay for that, that why there is no harm where people are willing to pay. So that analysis and solution that technology solution will be provided by getting the data, analyzing, and then working with my price point and other things. I think what I'm saying is that for example, part me, demand me, couple of like who will buy shirt and pants from demand for example part. No, right? What does people get? People will go and see because it's affordable and cheap, and people are okay to buy that. No brand value, nothing, right? So this all insights needs to come, and that insights needs to back by the data. We will say again, in my historical data, then for a lot of part, then let's say twenty percent of your inventory you have on the floor, but then it's got to go for thirty percent of the buy. So there is no need to sell those there. What is Narayana Joda? Where the clothing is eight percent contributing to overall. The Narayana store may let's say ten crore ka mand hai. Ten crore se samajh se two crore ki aapka clothing mein hai. Ah, ya fir ek crore ki clothing mein hai. But your demand is more. Put more there. So all that is backed by the data. That analytics is in there. So then, once the project is allocated after COD and all those things. Then solution architect, enterprise architect, come into the picture, they define the solution, they create the architecture data, they make sure the component is component ready, and based on that, they form which may load the case, budget can I go, how are you can I go, on to say here, on to say here, or optimize can they get it, then they will define the port, scrub master, which may time for the time, they will define the file source, छह महीने में यहाँ तक होना चाहिए, छह महीने बाद और ये होना चाहिए। तो देखो डिफरेंट कि हाँ, दो साल में हमारा प्रोजेक्ट लाइव होना चाहिए। तो देखो डिफरेंट ऑल दिस टाइटल की ऑल दिस थिंग। तो उस आर डन बाय इतना आर्टिकल टाइप के तरफ से आर्टिकल टाइप के तरफ से एंड देखो देखो सब बिजनेस टेक्स्� what is your project size? What is your project structure? What is your role and responsibility? So that in this question, ask you can say 
pick a number. If you don't want to see the exact number, you can say, oh, my, my the program, you can say that the team, the project I was working for the program. What is the program? So then for the gig formats, gig project is hard for the gig format or so I say team projects are there, right? And then program that is one of the program. So maybe modernization of analytical platform to the program, which is 10 years or five years program. Within that, they put small projects. Within the project, you have pod. Within the pod, you have several projects. So you can say I was part of maybe anything that would verify. Uh, but after you say that the modernization of analytical platform was my program and project for retail analytics in the retail analytics project, I have seven more, and I was a member of the master board as a developer. And we have one sub master, two QA, one K, and six developers or five developers. Uh, I was responsible for. Uh, developing a Python code, building the blog, or landing to completing uh, or data lake and other things. And I was responsible for using this component. So then you can start with technology. Right? Then you can mention what then the meeting was what is your day-to-day -day activity? You can say in the morning you used to have a term call, I explain what this term call is, and then um you used to have uh Project that has the time to work, to research it, uh, and that all the stuff. Before, as, as we are on the same topic, I want to explain about agile methodology. Uh, you can search, and there are very nice projects in project management uh, activity. You can uh, search and import videos, but in short, I will explain what it is. So, what is for Banadian, right? So, uh, there are certain uh, methodologies to which projects are covered. Okay. So generally, uh, in some organization, it varies, but who is the expert of that? So, generally, uh, there is a PI. PI is called as uh, program increment. Okay. So, we have the program, and so I will write my program name. Modernization. Program is modernization of analytical platform. Project is project is detail analysis. Within this program, there are Program increment. Okay, one program increment is of uh, three months. Okay. One quarter, basically. Okay, within that there will be sprints. <laughs> there will be two big sprints like right Okay, and generally as a six sprints that it may be two. Six, right? Twelve, right? You have uh, six sprint each sprints of two weeks or twelve weeks. Twelve weeks is how many months around? Three months mm -hmm. around, so which is equal to one quarter. That's what I said, right? Three months. Mm -hmm. The program project. Then you have program implement. which we call as a PI. Within the PI. You have uh, sprints, one sprint is of two weeks. Generally, sprint chalu, let's say it can start on Monday also, but generally people prefer to start it in the middle of the week, either Tuesday or Thursday. The reason is that they get a, if I start on uh, Monday, so do this Saturday, Sunday, or loss of that. People don't work on that, but we require to work. So that's why it doesn't generally should not start. Ideally, it should not start on Monday. Uh, let's say my spring start on Tuesday or maybe Thursday. Okay. So this Thursday is a 
next Wednesday, next next Wednesday, the spring diagram. One second. Now, what is the spring? Spring kya hota hai? So you define your work. First of all, after project banana project, mein. so now we are solution architect. Uh, define the task. So what story banana? Uh, you will have. Uh, you will create some story. Chira generally means that Chira or Monday or Stand here so that we can record it. So that's how it works. So two weeks ka ek sprint hota hai. So sprint mein first of all story hoti hai. On top of that there is a epic. Epic hota hai. Epic is nothing but some functionality. Uh, jaise, uh, I want to build a data mart. Retail self data mart banana chart. It's a component of our project. Right? Now that's the epic. Now self data mart banana ke liye mujhe kya kya chahiye. So I will write all the stories. So for example, I want to have a connectivity with the data lake. I want to have a set up the infrastructure for data lake. I want to set up the access for developer. Then I want to develop the job for landing or transformation job or something. So in each EP, there are some, some stories. Okay. Okay. So stories rahega, and stories may sub stories. Rahega. When the sprint start, we analyze meeting discussion hota hai, usko bolte hai, sprint planning. Sprint planning may bola jata hai, okay. Do you want to take this story? In the sprint, what is the objective of the sprint? The objective kya hai, mujhe ye sprint mein connectivity lena hai, banana hai. That is my object. What are the stories associated with connectivity? Those stories are taken into the current sprint, those we take. Then, it is given the story point, which story point aata hai. Sprint planning, hoti hai, sprint planning mein decide hota hai ki acceptance criteria kya hoga story ka. Okay, then uske baad, what will be the uh, story point for that. Story points is nothing but the effort. Mm -hmm. Isko do din lagenge, three, three, three din lagenge. That is different. The story points are generally uh, like one, two, uh, four, no, one, two, three, five, uh, one, two, three, five, and eight. In fact, story point eight, 16 be less, but generally eight is the max one. Because one story point sometimes equivalent to one day. Uh, it's not the effort, it's just the effort that we count. And then assign of that story. The Scrum Master makes sure that there is everything assigned to for every developer. Story points are correct. When they work, uh, task is to be So they are able to complete acceptance criteria clear hai ya and there will be a daily call, daily 15 minutes the stand up call of time where you have to tell what you work yesterday, what are you going to work today, is there any blocker? Only three things. What you worked yesterday, what you are going to work today, and are there any blockers? See which is mentioned currently. Okay? If there are any blockers, Scrum Master will connect you afterwards and provide the help. Necessary help. Okay? So that's how the project works. Uh, the agile methodology and it's evolving. Anybody know about waterfall model project management? After Pika engineering, waterfall right? So waterfall make out that you first define a requirement. Then inter manage that requirement. Then you go for development, then deployment, then testing, right? Then go live with that. Other issue are that again you go Requirement change hota hai and then all go. Agile mein waisa nahi hota. Agile is continuous development. Anything change happen, you just add a story here and then keep working on that. It's a small increment which may calm hota hai. Right? It's a project management uh, methodology. Okay, so when interviewer asks, you can say, what are your day-to-day -day activities? When I talk, just write this question. Aapko bole hai, bolla jai ka, project size kya tha, project team size composition kya tha. So you should be able to answer this question. Or 
क्या होता है जनरली पीपल आर वेरी गुड एट टेक्नोलॉजी टेक्निकली इवन पीपल हुई वर्क ऑन द प्रोजेक्ट दे आर गुड एट टेक्नोलॉजी पाइथन कोड बताओ और जब ये सवाल पूछता है कि टीम कॉम्पोजिशन क्या था प्रोजेक्ट क्या था वर्क क्या था क्रम होता था या नहीं देन दे गेट कंफ्यूज एंड देन दे लॉस द कॉन्फिडेंस नाउ यू हैव दिस इंफॉर्मेशन अगर आपको क्वेश्चन पूछे जाएगा तो यू कैन इजीली आंसर बट मेक श्योर यू डोंट आंसर द सेम नेम फॉर एवरी वन डोंट सब लोग जाके मेरा प्रोग्राम ये रोल सॉल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट डिफाइन करेगा स्टैंडर्ड्स कौन सा वर्जन यूज करना है पाइथन का लाइब्रेरीज के कौन सा वर्जन यूज कर रहे हैं फिक्स कैसे करना है इवन नॉट ओनली दैट हाउ टू यूज द अदर वर्जन लाइक सर्विसेज कौन सा सर्विसेज यूज करनी है कैसे यूज करनी है सॉल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट इज द वन टू डिफाइन ऑल दोस थिंग्स ही इज अ वेरी की इंपॉर्टेंट पर्सन व्हेन द प्रोजेक्ट गवर्नमेंट अगर प्रोजेक्ट फेल होता है तो ही विल बी द रिस्पांसिबल ऑफ कोर्स टेक्निकली ही इज रिस्पांसिबल बट फॉर बजटिंग एंड अदर थिंग प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर फ्रॉम डिलीवरी साइड डिलीवरी मैनेजर विल बी द रिस्पांसिबल बट इट कम्स टू अगेन अ टेक्निकल पर्सन टू डू दैट ओके जैसे एनीवन कैन डिफाइन व्हाट शुड बी माय गिट नो व्हाट शुड बी माय गिट टू वर्कफुल वर्जनिंग फॉर कंट्रोल प्रोसेस क्या होगा so before starting a project we should have all this information and communicate it to each developer har ek developer ko bataya jayega ki tumhe code ye repository se lena hai yahan pe karna hai ye feature branch mein rahega agar ye reviewer hai ye log tumhare code ke reviewer hai jab tum code develop karoge wo push karoge add to people those people will be responsible for review their code so that's how this this thing will work okay any question so far Like, I want to hear five questions. Yeah, sprint is two weeks a one sprint hota hai, and in sprint there is a task is defined. There are certain stories which are defined in those sprints. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, they. In sprint, they generally ask what you did yesterday, what you are going to do today, and are there any orders? These are the key things in sprint. The scrum master asks these three things. Everyone, sorry, after the training, any other question? Second question. Question. I will not proceed until you ask question. Otherwise, to go again, there are many things. You know, any four questions? Yes, it's possible. But sometimes budget constraints are there, so scrum master का इतना पूरा role नहीं रहता है. So they may ask sometimes fifty percent ही रहो, and you work fifty percent of other work. Billing. and that is not related to billing concern but utna kaam nahi hai agar the project easy hai to koi say budget issues hai to they say okay we get 50% time 50% we do that okay some time yes sir yes sir any other question three more yes what is yeah enterprise architect role is very wide role jaise aap dmart mein ho and you are enterprise architect 
तो ही डिफाइन द रोड मैप और इयर्स एंड इयर्स जैसे कि कोई सॉल्यूशन डेवलप करना है देयर इज अ बिजनेस प्रॉब्लम एंड फॉर दैट मतलब वी नीड टू रिक्वेस्ट इट फॉर सॉल्यूशन तो दैट इज केयर इन प्रोसेस टू बोला दिस इज द कंसल्टेंसी दैट्स व्हाई दे कॉल कंसल्टेंसी सर्विसेज डिमांड का मेन बिजनेस रिटेल है सेल करना उनका बिजनेस आईटी नहीं है तो दे डोंट हायर पीपल जैसे ना फॉर व्हाई दे डोंट हायर पीपल विद टेक्नोलॉजी द रीजन इज दैट अदर आर पाइथन में मैंने पाइथन पर बंदा हायर किया एंड दो साल बाद टेक्नोलॉजी चेंज हो गई तो आई हैव टू फील टू ट्राई टू आइदर आई हैव टू ट्रेन हिम टू अ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी जैसे नेक्स्ट ग्रुप भी आया है कॉल आया है और आई एम मेकिंग द एग्जांपल सम नया टेक्नोलॉजी आया है नया स्किल आया है आई हैव टू ट्रेन दैट टीम ट्रेनिंग का कॉस्ट आएगा देन नॉट डाउन टाइम आएगा मतलब वो प्रोडक्ट ही नहीं रहेगा सो इंस्टेड अगर मैं उसको सैलरी लेक्स से 10 लाख दे देता हूं उससे बेटर मैं 20 लाख देके दूसरा बंदा हायर करता हूं इतना काम करेगा चला जाएगा इट वुड नॉट बी लायबिलिटी फॉर मी माय जो तो इन्वेस्टमेंट उसने काम किया था राइट सो एंटरप्राइज आर्किटेक्ट इज नॉट दैट टाइप ऑफ पर्सन एंटरप्राइज आर्किटेक्ट इज टेक्निकल पर्सन टू बट ही थिंक्स वाइड नॉट जस्ट विद कंपोनेंट्स आगे फ्यूचर क्या होता है जैसे कि अभी चेन ए आई आया तो चेन ए आई हम कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं सो वेरी बिग यूज द के हाउ वी ग्रो आवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हाट आर द कॉम्पिटिटर्स आर डूइंग तो वो अलग अलग कॉन्फ्रेंस अटेंड करेगा टेक्नोलॉजी सोचेगा कि ये टेक्नोलॉजी हम यूज कर सकते हैं क्या है देन ही विल प्रपोज सम सॉल्यूशन तो ही ही डिफाइंस द एंटायर रूट मैप अभी बैंक है तो बैंक में देयर आर रेगुलेटरी तो व्हाट आर द रूल्स रेगुलेटरी कंस्ट्रेंट्स आर आर द रूल्स गोइंग टू प्रॉपर्ली फॉलो हो रहे या नहीं हो रहे अभी नेट से जेनेरा इंप्लीमेंटेशन है व्हाट इज व्हाट इज द बेस्ट वे टू सिक्योर दैट because we are using the public model how to trust those public models other public model has been changed kiya how it will impact me how to take part that so all those things we will think in the enterprise in complete enterprise agar main game implement karta hu to iska impact baki department mein kya hoga right ye ek data hai ki kaun kaun use kar raha hai agar main isko agar change karta hu upgrade karta hu data base तो उसका इम्पैक्ट क्या होगा कितना कॉस्ट लगेगा कितना एफर्ट लगेगा शुड वी डू इट और नॉट डू सो ऑल दैट डिसीजन विल बी डन बाय द एंटरप्राइज आर्किटेक्ट इट विच इज अगेन वेरी की रोल इन टेक्नोलॉजी सो सम पीपल लाइक टेक्निकल पीपल अर्न मोर देन द सीईओ सीईओ इज आल्सो मैंने सीईओ मेंशन नहीं किया but cto is chief technology officer so enterprise architect reports to cto and then coo operating officer cfo finance or director chief finance officer so these are the cto chief executive officer so these are the different levels right so you have cto you have cfo oo cto राइट एग्जीक्यूटिव तो जैसे कोई पब्लिक लिस्टेड कंपनी है तो बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर रहेगा बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर का एक इंचार्ज रहेगा हेड दैट इज द सीईओ कंपनी का हु विल रन द कंपनी की लीगली ही रिस्पांसिबल फॉर एवरीथिंग इन सीईओ को एनीथिंग रिलेटेड टू फाइनेंस चीफ फाइनेंस ऑफिसर सीईओ सीईओ ओ की ऑपरेटिंग ऑफिस जैसे ई मार्ट है सो ऑपरेशन सेल्स का दे हैव डिफरेंट टूल डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स एंड अदर थिंग्स डिफरेंट वेंडर्स सो हाउ टू मैनेज देम ऑल द टूल्स कहां पे ओपन करना है कहां पे नहीं कितना पैसा लगेगा टेक्नोलॉजी यूज करके बिजनेस में आगे कैसे बढ़ सकते हैं 
Okay, so this is about the project. So now I think you are comfortably answered the, about the project team size and other questions. Or yes, one pod it depends seven to ten kilometers. One pod. So that's why I say here are ten. One pod is ten minutes. One is five, uh, two and one. And I consider ten and three minutes. There can be seven, so you can reduce the developers and QA, you can reduce the QA. QA sometimes often that's like a bit of the charity of our members. Which one is the data? Data type of interest. 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 So I will say, okay, one more room, I am saying that you have to answer it. Because this activity, this activity is different, right? I can say, okay, you know, this way, you know, this way. Another thing, I want to say that data mark, one call can work on this, second one is third on this. Like the task are different places. I cannot say, there is such a look at it. So, my each group will make the current manner, this way, down to it. Project manager. 
ये पूरे को नहीं बोलेगा ये वो पूरे प्रोग्राम का बजट बोलेगा तो लेते डीमार्ट है तीन बिलियन का डीमार्ट कंपनी है मतलब कंसीडर डीमार्ट का प्रॉफिट तीन बिलियन है मतलब तीन बिलियन तो बोलेगा अरे अगर मैंने इसमें से 500 मिलियन इन्वेस्ट किया राइट तो मुझे रिटर्न अगर मैंने एक सॉल्यूशन अच्छे से बना लिया तो लॉन्ग टर्म मुझे कितना प्रॉफिट मिलेगा मे बी 50 और 80 मिलियन पर ईयर ये मुझे प्रॉफिट देगा 80 मिलियन मेरे जब मेरा बजट है 500 मिलियन का अगर मैं 500 मिलियन इन्वेस्ट करता हूं अगर ईयरली मुझे वो 80 मिलियन ग्रोथ देगा मतलब 80 मिलियन ज्यादा पैसा देगा यू कैन कैलकुलेट इट इज मोर देन हाउ मच परसेंट मोर देन 10% राइट 12 to 15% return आ रहा है मैं खाली 500 million invest कर रहा हूँ और मुझे 18 to 20% return मिल रहा है so I will invest this is my budget तो जैसे मैंने बोला inventory inventory optimization मेरे store में ऐसा मुझे जानना है कि sales में कैसे बढ़ा सकता हूँ और inventory कैसे stock कर अगर कोई store में मैं 1 million का inventory रखता हूँ on an average 8% interest तो उसका ज़्यादा ही ज़्यादा कम इन्वेंटरी में ज्यादा सेल और ज्यादा प्रॉफिट कैसे है अगर कोई सॉल्यूशन बताएगा मुझे और वो बोलेगा कि आरओआई आपका इतना अगर 500 मिलियन इन्वेस्ट करोगे तो आपका 80 मिलियन सेव होगा या 80 मिलियन से ज्यादा होगा तो मैं बोलूंगा ठीक है वो 500 मिलियन दिए तुम्हें मुझे ये चाहिए सीएफओ विल ओनली डू दिस एंड सीएफओ विल इन्वॉल्व जब क्वार्टरली रिजल्ट आते हैं तो वो बोलेगा कि हां वी आर इंप्लीमेंटिंग दिस Solution to this program, which will save, um, which will give additional 80 million. Stock market may price of stocks up now, right? Because profit increases over. And then when the project fails, the project fails at that, and if we inform the market, we have a project that we have to fail, the stock will automatically go down, right? So that's why there are a lot of responses. ये को तो ये बजट प्रोजेक्ट बजट में देख रहा हूं बोला मैं इतना है 500 मिलियन है मेरे को ये 3 साल में चाहिए 3 इयर्स में चाहिए और ये प्रोजेक्ट 10 साल चलना चाहिए दैट ओनली गिव इट टू हिम राइट ऑल दिस बजटिंग एंड एवरीथिंग विल बी स्कोपिंग टू दैट वाइज टेक्निकल लोग क्या सोचेंगे अरे हां यहां से यार कनेक्ट करना है क्या अरे ये सर्वर नहीं है ये नेटवर्क नहीं तीन महीने ऐसे ही बिता देगा टेक्निकल पर्सन Knowingly, unknowingly, he will not think about that. I have spent seven lakh dollars. Like right? so, when you spend money, when this is a good learning. When you become a technical and if you want to grow in your project, if you want to grow, make sure that you are doing the work. Someone is paying for it, and that someone is paying. Make sure that is it like you are paying for it. Then after that, me, some plumber will come. Plumber will say. मैं घंटे के 100 रुपए चार्ज करूंगा मैं ये फिक्स कर दूंगा एंड देन ही स्टॉकिंग ऑन फोन एंड बैठा है पानी पी रहा है सो यू विल गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड अरे मैं इसको घंटे का पैसा दे रहा हूं और ये मेरा काम नहीं कर रहा राइट सिमिलरली कस्टमर इज पेइंग फॉर यू टू गेट द गेट द वर्क डन एंड इफ यू आर स्पेंडिंग हिज मनी जस्ट इसमें फायदा आपका भी नहीं है कस्टमर का भी नहीं है राइट सो व्हेनेवर यू डू वर्क मेक श्योर थिंक हैव अ पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू कि समवन इज पेइंग फॉर दैट अगर आपको नहीं आता है इट्स ओके okay. अगर आपको नहीं आता है तो आप हेल्प ले सकते हैं आप दूसरे को दे सकते हैं डेलीगेट कर सकते हैं दूसरे को या तो फिर कंपनी के ना बोल सकते हैं कि मैं ये नहीं कर सकता बट डोंट एक्सेप्ट इट एंड डोंट सिट ऑन द वर्क डूइंग नथिंग वो बहुत बैड होता है अगर आप ना बोलो गुड आप बोलो मुझे आता नहीं गुड आप बोलो मुझे आता नहीं है मैं करवा लेता हूं किसी से वेरी गुड आप बोलो मुझे आता नहीं है मैं सीखूंगा और करूंगा ओके बट इफ यू एक्सेप्ट एंड यू आर नॉट डूइंग इट देन के इट डजंट मैटर मतलब देन कस्टमर विल गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड योर बॉस गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड एंड यू विल आल्सो गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड नो हाई नथिंग राइट ओके सो नाउ गो बैक टू द टेक्निकल थिंग सो इफ यू लुक एट द गिट फ्लो आई क्रिएटेड फॉर वन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट So you will see here this is the master branch or main branch. Can you see this? Yes, everybody can see it. 
एंड एवरीबडी कैन हियर मी लास्ट में आवाज आ रहा है आवाज आ रहा है ओके सो दैट्स व्हाट वी डिड व्हाट वी डिड हियर फ्रॉम हियर आई क्रिएटेड द डेवलपमेंट ब्रांच सो यू कैन सी हाउ आई क्रिएटेड आई फर्स्ट मेक अ क्लोन ऑफ दैट देन आई से चेक आउट मेन एंड देन डू द गेट फुल एंड आफ्टर दैट आई चेक आउट द डेवलपमेंट ब्रांच चेक आउट बी डेव मेन सो व्हाट इट डज इट क्रिएट्स अ ब्रांच विद डेवलपमेंट राइट From the main branch and it do the checkout also. दोनों चीजें एक साथ कर दिया तो लास्ट कल हमने क्या देखा था वी क्रिएटेड ब्रांच गिट ब्रांच डेव एंड डू दउट करेक्ट इसमें दोनों एक साथ हो रहे डैश बी इज अ ब्रांच तो वी आर चेक आउट एंड वी आर ऑल्सो क्रिएटिंग द ब्रांच एंड फ्रॉम विच वी आर क्रिएटिंग वी आर क्रिएटिंग फ्रॉम द डेवलपमेंट ब्रांच सॉरी मेन ब्रांच से हम डेवलपमेंट ब्रांच बना रहे तो यस्टरडे हमने ये भी देखा था तो यू कैन सी This yellow one is the development branch. Okay. Now, from development, uh, uh, let's let's pick some person. I think I'll pick the last one, black sir. So now, what's your name? Prashant. Prashant is working on one feature, so he wants to get a code. So Prashant uh, is working on, let's say, feature two. He created one branch. So what he will do? He will say git checkout dev. So he will first go in a development branch, and then he will say git pull if there are any check ins happen at the remote. You want to pull on the local. So he will do git pull. After doing a git pull, now he wants. Create a feature branch. So he will say git checkout dash b uh, feature name of your feature branch and from which branch you want to create the parent branch is the development branch. So that's how he will create this red one. Then he makes some modifications in the code. So Prashant make modification in one file. Then he will do the git add, adding to the local. It's still on the local. You see, still on the local. Then he will commit the change whatever he made. He'll say git commit dash m with the message. He will commit the change. So you will see this blue black lines are the commits. These blue lines you will see are the branching. The orange lines here you see the PR merge request. Okay. So now Prashant make change here, and this is the again a commit point, right? After that, next day he also made some commit in the code, some changes in the code. That's how he made the changes. Again, he will say git add, git commit, and change. So after everything is done, he wants to pull push the code to development branch. So what he does, he create the PR pull request, right? Now Prashant created the pull request, and pull request is go. He added the reviewer. What's your name? Uh, Yatish. So Yatish, he added Yatish as a reviewer. तो प्रशांत आपने जो कोड किया रतीश इज द रिव्यूअर ऑफ दैट कोड एंड ही विल रिव्यू द कोड इफ ही फाइंड्स योर कोड इज गुड ही विल मर्ज द कोड एंड दैट्स हाउ यू सी द ऑरेंज लाइन इज फॉर मर्जिंग एंड दैट्स हाउ देयर विल बी कमिट पॉइंट क्रिएटेड ऑन अ डेवलपमेंट ब्रांच सो यू सी दिस इज अ कमिट पॉइंट लेट्स से इफ एवरीथिंग इन डेवलपमेंट देयर इज अगेन लेट्स चूज वन मोर पर्सन व्हाट योर नेम आदित्य So Aditya is again one developer. He is working on some other different features, and Prashant is working. So he created his own branch, feature branch. Activities are the same. He created a checkout from the development branch, pull from the development branch, and then he created the feature branch with the name feature, and this is the name of the branch from the parent branch, the development branch, right? Then he modified some code, right? After Pull. He modified some code. He did git add, git commit, and then he submits the PR for the push to the remote repository. Okay, and then it got merged. So now I have the changes from both uh, Prashant and Aditya. I have both changes here in development branch. We look good and uh, yes, nice, right? 
is a reviewed again the code from uh, Akshay, right? Aditya. From Aditya, he reviewed the code. Now, what happened? Uh, I want to send this code from development branch to the QA person. So there is a team lead, or he creates the merge request to the development branch or QA branch. First, he creates the QA branch from development. QA people do the testing and they found some defects and they report back to the developer. So developer again fix that like uh, let's say Prashant has in his code there is a one defect. The QA will report to the Prashant. Okay. And uh, for Aditya, if there is one defect, it will be also reported. And then once it is fixed again, the process is same. It goes to development branch and then it is again pushed to the QA branch. If everything goes well, then it goes to the higher branch, which is the performance branch. If you want to test the performance of your code or uh, you want to create a release of your code, and then after everything, it goes to main branch, which is in production. So you can see that from here, it went to production, right? But what happens suddenly in production, there are, is a defect due to some issues, due to data issues, some defects, are, and it has to be fixed on the spot, on the spot meaning immediately. So the person created the hotfix branch. So this is my, the magenta is the hotfix branch. You can see this, this is a hotfix branch. So he modified the code and then that code is pushed to the production. But abhi ye jo change hai, I want this change back to the development because if I want next time at the time to fix okay. So I did a reverse request from here, hotfix branch, I merge to what development branch. You see the arrow direction, right? This is the git flow for the project, the code management, right? Any issue in understanding this diagram? No, I want to hear two questions. Sorry. Okay, good question. Uh, the question is, uh, Aditya and Prashant, if they are handling same job, same code, what happens? Will be there in merge conflict or not? So generally, what happens if both people are handling the same code, same file? When you do the git push, it compares like which one is latest, which one is old. If there is a merge conflict, let's say line number twenty, both have modified. It will say there is a merge conflict. Which one you want to keep? Whoever reviewer, reviewer will decide which one to keep and which one to discard. That's a merge, but it rarely happens. It doesn't happen so quickly. Then there is no issue. If they are handling different file, then there is even if they are file handling same file, same Python file, let's say, but handling different code, line of code, then there is no merge conflict. Review is required, but there is no merge conflict. So dono ka code merge ho jayega. Single file. Okay. One more question. One more question. So the question is, if they are working on same file, so what will happen, right? So if you see their branches are different, feature branches are different. If even if they make the change in the same file, doesn't matter because their code is different on the local, their, their laptop, uh, their code is different. So there won't be any intervention between their code. But when they push, probably that's where it will come and that's where Reviewer will review and select which one to choose, or either you say, okay, then I will merge yours, 
or you do modification what he has done and then I will merge it. That understanding will happen between all those three people. Okay, any other question? So does everybody has a GitHub account? Everybody has a Git install on their location on laptop? Okay, uh, I'll go to something more. Okay, so here now, are you able to see the screen? Okay, probably I'll Yes. Okay. So yesterday we created one repository. Its name kya tha? PWDES uh, Data Analytics. Or usme humne different branches banana. We created the branch like feature branch, dev branch, right? We can have QA. We can have UAT. We can have uh, release branch, hotfix branch. These are the different branches we can create. And I also showed yesterday. Uh, these things on VS Code, the Git graph, just to visualize what is what happened, right? And then we created uh, some folder structure and other things, there, correct? Okay. Um, any question? Okay. So anybody uh, has installed the Git Bash or are you using the now, PyCharm, there was one question, like right? you want to go with the PyCharm. So I have probably version doesn't matter. Uh, it will be the same. Yes, no, sorry. I have this version of PyCharm, a community edition. Okay, I have PyCharm and I'll just open a gate one. I'll just open a project first. Okay. Now, I have a project, tha, so I have it in C drive. So I have C drive workspace and I think DW project. That's the right one. PW projects under that. I'm clone ka hape banana. I'm just opening that location. And under the BW project, this is the uh, folder. Under this folder, this is the retail analytics is the project. I just open here, trust the project, uh, new window. You can see the project get open in here. So clone to my bar se bana sakta, right? You can also use the Python to clone the project or it by from uh, the GitHub also. Okay, so this is my uh, readme file, and you can also modify the readme file if you require, add some descriptions and other things. 
okay if you want to open directly you can also open directly from uh, i think there is an option From Git, you can directly open it. First, open the first part. I was just cleaning. New project setup. Under that, you can get it uh, set up from for a new project. So here, go, go to the VS con version control. In version control, uh, you have a GitHub, right? Like clicked on the GitHub and add the account of GitHub here with uh, login via GitHub. Authenticate, authorize the GitHub. Okay, and I'll say, Authorize JetBrains password. So it is signing as the user, GitHub user, and it is authorizing. Automatically, the repositories will be available to here. Can you see this? I have authority, and you can see from here. You can see here it is, it is authorizing and connecting to the repository. And you'll see here in the Git. Can you see this? I'm at local and it also has a remote repository connected. Okay. So this is the other way you can get it. And Git graph, you have the VS code me in similar git graph you can see it here correct and all the commit messages and everything here you can see it's the same it's id basically functionality same rega but i prefer vs code because you have all the extensions and other thing you can download if this is the paid version uh, of PyCharm, i would have used that i have used it it's very nice uh, but with the community version there are less features are available VS code may jada features if you use the community version. It depends on the project. After project may other license already has people will use this one, or otherwise, people will use if it's a free to use anything community version. So people will use anything. Okay. And here you can see this feature branch, hai, job, hai, kya modify, hai, remote. This is my remote branch. Remote matlab kya? Remote repository matlab kya? There are two types of repository. First of all, repository matlab kya? Aapko structure pata chala kaisa hai? Git mein, you have your Git account. Within that Git account, you have repository. Within the repository, you have branches. Correct? So now repository two types here. One is the remote, one is the local. Right? So remote mein kya hoga? It is on the server. Wo server kaha pe hai? GitHub. GitHub का कोई सर्वर रहेगा, स्टोरेज रहेगा, वहाँ पे आपका सब कोड स्टोर होगा। लोकल रिपोजिटरी जो है, लोकल इस समथिंग ऑन योर डेस्कटॉप, डेस्कटॉप पे जो है, योर लोकल। इफ नाउ टेल मी, आई लास्ट सम क्वेश्चंस एंड यू टेल मी व्हाट इज़ द आंसर। आई हैव अ रिमोट रिपोजिटरी, ओके, नाउ आई वांट दैट Okay, I have cloned GR repository. Now, let's say I have three, uh, three branches in a repository. How do I switch to, let's say, non-default branch on a local? Okay, 
Did you get a question? No, again, I will explain the question. I have three branches. These are my three branches. Okay. This Umesh Mahajan is my account. In this account, you can see how many repositories I have. I have two repositories. Correct. Within these two repositories, I have in this one repository, retail analytics, I have three branches. This is all remote. Ye mere paas code nahi hai. Ye GitHub ke server mein. Now, mujhe ye code chahiye local pe, to maine git clone kiya. So, usme mujhe dev branch pe switch karna hai local. What command I should use to switch on a local to get a dev branch? Git checkout. Okay, git checkout or branch ka naam. So, I will switch to see now. Let me see. Is it readable or it's too small? Okay. Let me see if I can increase the form. Yeah. Okay, Achha, you don't have it. Uh, does anybody know about WSL? As a full laptop in this meeting, yes, so I can add it here. Okay. Um, I think I'll make you a presenter. What's your name? I made you host and you can share your screen. So now how to get a badge on your Windows machine, right? Okay. Can you open search for WSL application WSL? WSL. Windows subsystem for Linux or just search Ubuntu start me. I think you just shared one window. Can you share entire screen instead of application? Stop sharing and go on a share, share screen and say screen one or screen two, whatever. Screen. There will be options for screen. The first option. No. Yes, yes. Now, you have a search me, Niche. Go to this one, not this one. No, not this one. Uh, Windows search. I need to search. Minimize this. Yeah, you see the search there below. You stop the screen share. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Minimize this two windows. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Just type WSL. 
for Ubuntu or WSL engine. Type U Ubuntu. U B U B U N T U. Uh, it's the app. It's the Windows Ten, right? Get it from Microsoft Store. So yeah, you click on that. Okay. It's the app basically. You can drag that bar or you can drop drag drop it fine. Go to the search. Just search for Ubuntu, it's an app. You click on that button that it shows at the right side. Get it from Windows Store. Do you see this? Yes. It will automatically download for you. Install. Yes. So here with this, you can use your Windows system as a Linux system. So Windows so generally project make kahi pe bhi server Windows nahi rahega. Never. It is always uh, either Linux or Unix and maybe any server. Red Hat rahega, Ubuntu rahega, uh, maybe mainframe. Mainframe to abhi nahi hai, but uh, it may be Sun Solaris sometimes. It's never a uh, Windows machine. The server is never a Windows machine. Okay, 589 MB and it's still 10 MB. Okay, search for the Git bash also. Huh? Um, yeah, generally it will come. Yeah. Yes. Just open this link. The Wikipedia link, I'll or I will give you the link. In the app, basically, search for Git Bash to one word. And search apps. Doesn't show in the app. Click on the app. No. Git space bash. Search in the app only here. Or let me share the link for that. Yeah, oh, one point zero. Uh, 
I'm sharing one link from which you can get it. Get bash for Windows. Okay. Just to check that Ubuntu has downloaded or not. Here is the link. Have you installed a gate on your system? Can you go to program file? Okay. Okay. Go to program files. Do you have a git already on your system? Git. Go to program files. No, program file folder. Click on the Explorer, Windows Explorer. Uh, yeah, go to program files. You have a git here. Git, git. No. Uh, in the command prompt, do you see the git? What what it comes if you type the git? Okay. Uh, so go to command prompt. Emd. So do you know what we are trying to do? We are trying, there is a uh, download is going on for Ubuntu. Now we are looking for the git, git bash on your system so that we can use it in the VS code. Just type git. So git is not on your system. So first of all, install the git, the download git. No, I mean, uh, yes. आपके कौन से लोगों के सिस्टम में गिट इंस्टॉल है ये विंडोज पे ओके व्हेन यू गो ऑन अ कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट एंड टाइप गिट क्या आता है हां है राइट सो यू हैव अ गिट ओके 
So you can run the git command like git clone, git checkout, git push. So people who has a git on their system try to pull the project. I think the project I create is the public, so you can search the project. So how you can search? Just type Umesh margin slash detail, whatever your name is, and then you will be able to find the project and you can clone that project. Try anyone? Can you try? See? People who has a kit, how many people has a kit installed on the local machine? One, can you raise your hand? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four. Please search on the GitHub, search the project. Uh, I'll give you the name. So search for Umesh Mahajan slash BW DES retail analytics. I'm going to ping you in the chat or I can directly ping the link for the project and you can clone it. Uh, Git STM download, I think. Just a minute, I'll come there. Um, So in the chat, I provided the link, open that link and you know how to clone it, right? Right? Cloning, git clone, kaise karo ke? open that link. Once you open that link, it will lead you, you, if you have not logged in, you will have to log in. Then it will go to the page where you, on the right hand side, there is the code, green button code. Hai. You click on that, uske niche rahega, it's clone. And select the HTTPS option, copy that, and command from now, just type git clone and press the URL that you copied. Probably it will ask for you to log in. Okay, what was your question? What was your question? Just download for us, keep on playing. Download it. Uh, so we are at the Git distribution download page. We are downloading the Git. And on download, we are selecting the standard scholar 64 bit for Windows
Are you able to see the screen now? Office. So we have provided a link for a kid to have their download. So now on dark code, are you listening to me? We are downloading the full big standard. Making uh, icon yeah. and so now I just take this one, which is add a big bash profile into the terminal. Okay, I just click the entire checkbox so that we can add a Windows terminal bash. Next, I think we can invite on a hard time. I just click on next thing. I just keep all the default options and we just install it. So let me know once uh, most of the people are done. Um, we also have a big crash. Okay. 
Yeah, we can start. And probably you can make me the presenter. Okay. So, how many people are done with the installation? Kit batch or kit installation? And people who already had a kit have they cloned the repository that the link I shared? Okay, good. You have all the report all the branches on your local now. Which branch you are right now in? Which tool you ID are you using? Is it yes? So which repository you are in? Main dev or featured?
Okay. Can you see my screen? I try to maximize the screen. Now, please uh, listen this carefully because this is the project architecture. Um, your architecture is the project, actual project where you are going to work. It's going to be somewhat similar to it. So just pay attention so that you can understand it. Uh, it is, let's say, a retail analytics solution where it is a cloud solution. So you can see the outer one, this box. Are you able to see it? Okay. The outer box is AWS account that you have. Okay. And abhi ye account kitne hunde? So depends on the environment. This I'm showing for one environment only. It is the development environment for a part. Same setup will be repeated for QA. Same setup will be repeated for production. Maybe in production, the cluster or other thing, the size and other thing will be bigger than the development one. And then access will be restricted. So generally, two or three environments are there. Okay? Every project has two or three environments. And it's a cloud project. So right now, we'll deal with the cloud cloud project. Okay? You can decide the target. Environment hone chahiye, environment ka size kya hona Can anybody answer who will decide this? Project manager, drug master, solution manager. Who said project manager? Why do you think the project manager will define? No. So project manager doesn't know. They doesn't know what is AWS also. Some project manager doesn't know what is AWS. They know it's a cloud. That's it. Beyond that, they doesn't know anything. Even they doesn't care. If they don't know, it's okay. They, it's not their territory. Right? It's a either solution architect, maybe enterprise architect, who will define this category. Okay? So, let's say we decided on what basis we decide there are multiple factors cost usage who are going to use it the project duration project scope other project uh, long term hai, development long term hai. so kaise decide karna the project short term hai, kya karna chahiye budget kam hai zyada hai it's all decided based on that so let's say i'm a solution architect i said okay i don't need five or ten environment uh, I just need three environment. One is for development, one is for QA, and one is production. And done. What are the other environments are we use? Other are sometimes performance. I want to do the performance testing. Uh, disaster recovery is again environment type of environment people use. Bigger environment with those good. Okay. Sometimes UAT, user accepted testing, that can be a separate environment. But at a high level, in most of the projects, three, two or three are okay. Okay, so now I decided, okay, I'll have a three account, dev, test, and prod, QA and prod. So this is my AWS account. Within the AWS account, I have to define the regions, which region I should get my all services. Now, again, who will decide that? Solution architect, right? On what basis he will decide which price, why do you think that price will be the factor in deciding which region you want to have it? Suppose my to all the store data center is in US and I have Australia a data center AWS region and maybe the cost wise it is 10% cheaper. Should I go and add the AWS account with the region of Australia? Yes or no? 
टेन परसेंट चीपर है वॉट यू वॉन्ट डू यस नो द रीजन इज दैट अगर डेटा यूएस में है एंड यू आर स्टोरिंग इट इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया इट विल बी नेटवर्क चार्जेस राइट आई मीन स्पीड एंड अदर थिंग विल बी इम्पैक्टेड कॉस्ट इज डजेंट मैटर सो पीपल पुट ऑन द सेम जियो लोकेशन अगर बैंक का डेटा है दे डोंट वॉन्ट डेटा टू शेयर आउटसाइड कंट्री लाइक चाइना कंप्लीटली पैक सो चाइना इट्स हैज इट्स ओन गूगल इट्स ओन व्हाट्सएप फेसबुक एंड एवरीथिंग इट्स ओन दे नेवर शेयर डेटा आउटसाइड दे नेवर यूज एनी अदर दे हैव देयर ओन क्लाउड अलीबाबा क्लाउड दे नेवर यूज एडब्ल्यूएस दे नेवर यूज गूगल एनी नथिंग ऑल इज अलीबाबा ओके सो देयर आर सर्टेन जियोग्राफिकल लोकेशन रेस्ट्रिक्शंस आल्सो सो जनरली रीजंस आर if my headquarter is on the east coast in us they try to have a region select on that one because network uh, traffic and other things are less okay right just one fun fact or interesting fact about the network can anybody tell me aapka jo internet hai right ye kaise kaam karta hai what is internet basically डब्ल्यू 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 क्यों लिखते हैं हम लोग मतलब क्या है तो वेन यू कनेक्ट टू इंटरनेट इट मीन्स दैट यू आर कनेक्टेड टू होम ऑल द कंप्यूटर्स इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफकोर्स एक्सेस रेस्ट्रिक्टेड रहता है बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ नेटवर्क यू आर कनेक्टेड टू एंटायर वर्ल्ड जैसे लैंड था आई डोंट नो यू your generation no land local area network so two pcs hai internet nahi hai so we used to have lan cable and transfer the data so data kaise wo cables se transfer hota hai and the same principle is still there there are submarine cables between the oceans or or jo aap internet use karte ho yahan se agar main aws server access karta hu which is in us in east coast so it is you are connecting physically to it आप बोलो कि सर मैं तो वाई फोन से कनेक्ट करता हूँ राइट स्टिल यू आर कनेक्टेड थ्रू केबल द फोन इज जस्ट अ मीडिया फ्रॉम योर टावर टू योर फोन एक्चुअली टावर इज कनेक्टेड थ्रू दो केबल ऑप्टिकल फाइबर केबल रहता है उससे कनेक्टेड है ओके नाउ फिर आप बोलो कि सर ये अगर मैं वीडियो कॉल कर रहा हूँ तो हाउ डज इट गेट ट्रांसफर इमीडिएटली इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द स्पीड ओके तो so, अगर मैं कैरेक्टर ए लिखता हूं तो उसका साइज क्या होता है सॉरी तो व्हाट इज लेट्स आई ओपन अ नोट पैड आई हैव दिस नोट पैड आई रूट दिस लेटर ए एंड सेव दिस लेटर सेव दिस फाइल what is the size of this file okay so if you see the size is 1 byte now why 1 byte one byte is how much bits eight bits but what is bit what is bit सॉरी anybody know telegram not this telegram but old wala tak 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 right star bolte the usko right so people used to interpret the message based on that right it was on the similar principle then they decode it first encoding hota tha and decoding and each letter used to be some flakes and something right so that's why usme messages mein 
it used to be cost based on the length of message, right? So, and they encode and decode. Yahan pe receiver side pe wo read karta tha and then he used to write something, whatever the message is. So same thing right now happens, but except it's not a manual, it's not automated, right? And that's how you receive the data. And jab aap bolte ho ki mere cable jo hai one Mbps speed hai, matlab one second mein kitna Mb data process hota hai. When you say I'm downloading a file of one KB or one MB, wo one second mein download hota hai. It means that in that file one MB data hai, which is uh, thousand bytes and thousand bytes means thousand letter hai. But wo thousand letter signal aane mein aapko एक सेकंड लगता है दैट फास्ट इट इज राइट सो दैट्स हाउ द स्पीड इज डिसाइडेड एंड दैट्स हाउ द इंटरनेट एंड बेसिक थिंग्स वर्क ओके सो नाउ सो आई चूज व्हाई आई चूज द रीजन रीजन इन द सेम जियो लोकेशन बिकॉज़ नेटवर्क ट्रैफिक कम होगा इट हैज ट्रैवल द लेस डिस्टेंस राइट ऑप्टिकल फाइबर से सो इट विल टेक लेस टाइम टू ट्रैवल Versus if I have in Australia, it won't be significant. ऐसा नहीं होगा कि यहाँ से एक मिनट लगेगा और यहाँ से यहाँ दस घंटे लगे. इतना difference नहीं होगा, but there will be some difference. Okay, so choose the on similar somewhat geo location. So now here I choose the region as US East one, and within the region I have the VPC, virtual private cloud, which kind of a LAN separating separating the Different machines or instances that I use in the AWS. You must have learned the VPC regions and then uh, subnets, right? What are the subnets? What is the relation between the subnet and availability zone? Ek, again, what is the difference between availability zone and uh, region? Okay. You know the difference. So region are geographical, right? You have yes. Even availability zone is a data center, but uh, regions are geographic, mainly a geographic. Within the region, there are availability zones, which is actual data centers. So, say India is one region, in, in, in the geographical area. Within that, I have availability zone at Mumbai, Pune, Calcutta, and Chennai, all those things. So, those are the data centers I have. And I have physical machines, physical networks is there. So, that is your availability zone. Suppose tomorrow, if uh, Mumbai may power outage, hota hai. I have a data on S3, okay, and the bucket I created in US is one. I still have a data on the another availability zone and I can access. The only thing it will fail regional failure. Agar charo availability zone down jate, ya to complete region down jate, then and then I will not able to access the data. But agar availability zone down jate, still I will have access to my data because there are replicated data. Correct. So I choose now here uh, a subnet VPC within the VPC. I have a different subnet. So my things are now more on the one single availability zone, not the S3 bucket I'm talking. I'm talking about the servers that I'm using, like EC2 instance. So if EC2 instance launch, karte, so physically one machine rahega. And if I say availability zone is Mumbai, so that server uh, is in Mumbai. Right, Mumbai region. So now, uh, back to this. On my project, I want to get the data from web services. I want to get the data from databases. I want to get the data from files. I want to get the data from some IoT devices or streaming data. Let's say I am the owner of a retail shop, retail store. So point of sale system of Jahape. Sale record is that up card swipe or product scan of that. It's a real time product scan. You want to get the real time sales data. So that sort of data you want to get. 
and you want to connect that data and put that data into S3. So from web services, data comes to S3. From databases, the data is extracted and there is to that S3 server and then it is in a blue job server. You have some files which are again pushed to the S3 bucket. You have the data. Okay, that is coming, getting that data, streaming data in the processing. You are storing in S3 and then processing that. Change a little bit. But Let me know once you are able to see the screen. Okay. So now what I am doing, I am getting all this data in the raw. And, okay. In S3 bucket. From raw, I am using the blue jobs to put refine the data. Like yesterday we saw some step where we are cleansing the data, we are standardizing the data, right? Uh, um, joining some data, whatever data is required, that data we are extracting, that is your refinement. And then a transformation. The transformation I'm doing through the EMR right now here. And then putting it transform data. Now this transform data can be used by uh, reports. So I have a quick site or I can use Tableau or Power BI or any reporting tool which can consume and show that data. I also use a Snowflake as a data warehouse here where I get that data, put it into create a data warehouse fact table, dimension tables, and put all those things, right? So I have a data warehouse as well. I can directly use the Snowflake as detailed data store also. That option is also available. Uh, for your thing, I will just modify this architecture to be used more on the Snowflake slide. Uh, streaming data, something like Snowpipe to use. There is a new feature launched by Snowflake, which is called Snowpark. Snowpark is nothing but the Spark on the Snowflake. You can use the Spark code, by Spark code on the Snowflake. There is one more thing that is released by Snowflake called uh, Streamlit. You can build the applications on top of, of the Snowflake app. Streamlit is uh, one library that is being used. Uh, we'll see that. And there are other governing services. Which are the governing services? CloudWatch, CloudTrain, IAM. Right? Are you aware about these services? What is the purpose of CloudWatch? Monitor the AWS resources. What is the use of CloudTrain? CloudTrain. Once you open the CloudTrain, you see any interaction that happens on the cloud is logged as a train any event even if you log in that will also be logged as a trail you logged in console even if you launch cluster that will be logged if you terminate anything it will be logged anyone accessing it that will be logged it's a cloud trail okay then you have im what is the use of im identity and access management what is the use of that okay and how, what is the structure? How the 
privileges are assigned to it. Those users, those policies, so, and capabilities are there. I mean, policies, and then you have some capabilities under the policies where uh, act, least bucket access is the your your access capability to assign a particular role, and role is assigned to user, right? That's how it is. That is called RBAC, right? Role-based access management, access control, RBAC. You can write this word RBAC, role-based access control. Maybe in the interview, what is RBAC? Role-based access control. Suppose I am in company, I am an HR. So I will have access based on my role to data related to HR only. If some finance person is there, he will have access to the finance. Finance person will not have access to the project. So there is no code or the access. Developer doesn't need have the access to the finance. So based on his role, the access is restricted. Role-based access control. <laughs> Okay, so now uh, we will see this in detail, but there are other project accessory, uh, accessories, project software that needs to be used. So in the bottom, we see these things. So Git use karna padta hai. Git, GitHub, I, I chose the GitHub here, but either GitLab or GitHub, anything is fine. Or Hosted privately or publicly hosted, that is also depend on the company. Most of the time, company hosts on their servers. Okay, they don't allow public. Like the one we created is a public. Code is ke paas hai, na ke paas hai, na mare paas hai. Server is ka hai, GitHub ka hai. Is code GitHub or GitLab ka hai, whatever we use. The code is theirs, so they can copy the code, they can use the code. If it's a sensitive, someone passed them sensitive information, it will be get lost or they will. So some companies use that software installed on their on-premises or on their cloud and they have their own Git. So we can also have git.trainverse.com, so our own Git, right? Then for CICD, continuous code deployment and integration, people use Jenkins, some people use Git Action. Some people use, uh, there are harness.io, there are other CICD tools. There are many CICD tools. Who create CICD pipelines? DevOps person creates the CICD pipeline for us. Okay. Then third component here you are seeing is a vault, which is hashing dot vault. So what they do, they store the credentials and they allow access to those credentials. We don't want to store the credentials in the past. Flag files, password keys, um, hard coded code mein next store karna chahate, na ki file mein store karna chahate. So we want to store at a center location, and we call using the API. We just want to fetch the password in the runtime using the code, and that's it. So there is no manual intervention, right? So if the password change hua, automatically, wo code use karega. Doesn't have to change in the file. If file mein rakha, to kya hoga? someone has to manually change that password, which is difficult, right? So best, best to put on the vault and use the API to get the password whenever required. Then we some people use the Jira. Jira for what? Project management, scrums, and that's what I mentioned. Some people use Confluence. 
confluence is a document management system so where uh, just like a wikipedia right or any project related information you put it there so that it is searchable and other thing that's the confluence people use grafana grafana is a tool which gathers the information from aws account or anything mainly now in our project aws account ki mera data size kitna hai aws bucket mein कितने बकेट्स है कितने सर्वर करंटली रन हो रहे हैं ऑल दो थिंग्स आर मॉनिटर इन द ग्राफाना हु यूज दिस ग्राफाना इट इज यूज बाय सपोर्ट पीपल जो प्रोजेक्ट सपोर्ट में रहते हैं वो यूज करते हैं एंड ऑफ कोर्स वीएस कोड पाइथन जेट इंजीनियर्स दोस आर द आईडीज दैट वी यूज एंड जुपिटर सम पीपल आल्सो यूज द जुपिटर नोटबुक एज वेल ओके सो आइदर वी विल यूज द वीएस कोड और पाइथन बट Out of this, we'll use a Git, and instead of Jenkins, we are going to use a Git action. That is sufficient for a CI/CD. Uh, don't go in detail for the Git actions or CI/CD. You should just know that that is enough. Okay. So uh, we have stop at in the next ten minutes. But before stopping, in ten minutes, I want to give an overview about the Hasikov wall. Okay. Purpose of Hashikov Vault is to store the password on a wall. So it is a quick setup. So I go to the Hashikov Vault, and you can download. If you go to the product, uh, you can download Vault. You can download and install the Vault. So let me download it on Windows. uh i am selecting this one it's a binary download should i share this link i'm sharing this link in a chat Have you studied Airflow? Okay, so I have downloaded. Are you listening? Okay. So I have this here. I'm going to extract. Oh. Yeah, I already have. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm extracting this file. Anybody downloaded the wall? No. Okay. आप बोलोगे सर ये हमें इंटरव्यू में पूछा जाएगा कि व्हाट इज़ वर्ल्ड एंड अदर थिंग्स नो आई आई डाउट एनीबडी आर दिस टू यू बट इफ यू टेल देम दैट व्हेन यू एक्सप्लेन योर प्रोजेक्ट बी प्रिसाइज एंड टेल दैट आई यूज़ अ वर्ल्ड एंड आई यूज़ एसिड पाइपलाइन आई यूज़ दिस तो वो आगे सवाल पूछेगा नहीं ज्यादा यू विल सर या दिस पर्सन रियली वर्क ऑन द प्रोजेक्ट यू नो एंड टू एंड प्रोजेक्ट यू नो द प्रोजेक्ट आर्किटेक्चर चांसेस ऑफ सिलेक्शन श्योर राइट एंड नॉट ओनली दैट ये आपको बेनिफिट कब देगा जब आप एक्चुअल काम करोगे तब अगर आपके प्रोजेक्ट में कोई वॉल्ट नहीं यूज कर रहा है देन यू कैन रिकमेंड अरे पासवर्ड ऐसे फाइल में क्यों स्टोर करता यू कैन रिकमेंड टू यूर लीड और यूर सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट देन सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट बोलेगा अरे दिस गाय इज डिफरेंट दैन द अदर बिकॉज इज एडिंग द वैल्यू टू द प्रोजेक्ट not just doing his work but he is adding the value right so that will again help you uh, in your project so i have extracted and there is a, just a small vault file okay and i think i need to go uh, there is a some command i have to run Okay, starting a server. Okay, so generally I use uh, WSL subsystem for Linux because uh, I like the actual project. Me, I'm just Linux. Colors. Are you able to see the screen? Okay, so I'm at C Windows System Thirty Two. So I'll go to the uh, location where Vault is. It is, and you know the uh, Linux command, right? What is CD used for? Yeah. Change the text. What is CD dot dot slash is doing here? One directory back, right? So I'll again one directory back. I'm on C, CD workspace, and I think BW project. I think software. Software and CD Vault. the vault okay ls and i have vault dot txt correct correct okay. so i'm on vault directory and i'll run the my command vault server dev run the dev server and i'll run this but it's not uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I am running. You see this. You can see I ran the command of uh, vault.exe server hyphen dev to so dev mode may run here and it started. It gave me the URL. Now it's a local URL. Whenever it's a production install, it will be have the server URL. So I'll copy this URL and I'll open the application. Okay, so it opens the Vault application and it needs the login. So there are two options here. Either you can use username, password. So there will be users. Active Directory से आपका user मतलब company में Active Directory है तो Active Directory और LDAP all users का user credential एक ही server पे रहता है you can use that service or you can use the key authentication so right now I'm using the token authentication instead of user I can also create a user but let's start with the token authentication so I use the token and you can see here is a uh, a token is given, a root token or until token is given. So there are two types of things. Until key and root token are to the authentication. I'll use the uh, root token here. I copied it and I put it here and I'm going to log in. So now I log into the vault, okay, vault application. अभी ये vault application में I want to create a key so there is the option of having a secrets so there are secrets and under the secrets there I want to create a secret KV means key value can you see this key value secret storage and these are the token the key generally you want to store a key only what is the key another thing I'll explain later but if you want to store a username and password you will store here so let's say I want to store under the secret, under the secret, I want to create a secret key. Uh, what is a path I want to store at uh, AWS? And what is my key? All the key, all the password related to AWS, I want to store here. And I'll give here BW AWS Dev. Secret key. 
okay this is my key name and there will be some value x x x x x you know connect to aws there are two things secret key and i think uh, access key and secret key right two key so i'll just put it here the secret key and add it i, I want to add one more pw hyphen aws hyphen dev hyphen uh, access key and again i store it okay and i save it let me recreate again I don't know why it's able to start with the changes. not alike. I think there is some issue. There are some unsafe changes. That's what it's showing. Once I've changed this now, it works like that. You have all the changes. changes. 
Okay, I think we'll see that. I don't know uh, why this issue is coming. We'll go through a back end. In the UI, there is some issue, which looks like, but it shows me that I already have that and changes is starting. Save is not working here, but we'll see that. Okay, so after the lunch, we'll add some credentials here. Then we have an AWS account, right? So now we'll go to the code part where from AWS, from Vault, we'll fetch the credential. We'll connect to AWS. Same thing we can do for Vault, and then we'll build the utilities now. Vault utilities, AWS utilities, and then Snowflake utility. And then on top of that, afterward, you can take the ownership and build the code on the same repository. Okay. So we'll meet after one hour. One hour is fine. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.